We could have a new gigawatt storage system installation in Australia. Tesla takes another shot at direct sales in Texas. 100 Ds are being delayed by the EPA, and Model 3 is caught out and about. Here are your Tesla tidbits for March 13th, 2017. In a follow-up to yesterday's story about the electricity woes being experienced in southern Australia, Elon had a tweet shortly after I recorded Friday's show. First, I need to note that I incorrectly stated that this would be a 300-megawatt system, and I do sincerely apologize and regret the error. Elon's definitely in put-up-or-shut-up mode here. Mike Cannon-Brooks, who is trying to spearhead some government action, went to Twitter asking how serious Lyndon Reeve was when making the statement yesterday regarding getting his system up in 100 days. Elon responded, quote, Tesla will get the system installed and working 100 days from contract signature or it is free. That's serious enough for you? End quote. Not too long thereafter, Ken and Brooks responded with, quote, Not to push my luck, big dollar commitments pouring in. Are 10 by 100 megawatt hour installs grid distributed possible or crazy? End quote. Tesla's had a thing lately for converting islands to sustainable energy, but this is a massive island. Looks like we may have some huge things in store for the Tesla energy division. Electrek has an update on the Texas Tesla situation. Currently, there's a complete sales ban in Texas for Tesla, despite there being nine galleries and service centers in the state. However, new legislation is hoping to change that. Senate Bill 2093 and House Bill 4236 have been introduced by State Senator Bob Hall and State Representative Jason Isaac, and take a different approach than has been followed in other states. In most other states, Tesla has been seeking an exemption to the direct sales ban. This legislation would simply remove the direct sales ban for everyone, providing a truly free market on the automotive front. The Texas Automobile Dealers Association obviously isn't taking this laying down, chiming in with this quote from its president, Bill Walters, quote, Tesla's legislation seeks to unravel the entire franchise dealer system in Texas in favor of direct sales of motor vehicles by a manufacturer. Senate Bill 2093 and the reduced competition it will bring about in the new vehicle sales and service market will come at the expense of Texans and Texas, end quote. Exactly how this will reduce competition wasn't noted by Mr. Walters, and personally, I'd love to see the mental gymnastics that the Dealers Association presents here. Cross your fingers, Texas Tesla fans. Let's see if we can get beyond the transport committee this time, which is where the previous attempt failed. Electrek also has some unfortunate news for those looking to grab a 100D without the P. While Tesla opened its orders for the 100D variant of the Model S and Model X about two months ago, none of these cars have been delivered yet, despite dates being given for the last week of February for some buyers, which has long since come and gone. Without mentioning the EPA directly, Tesla confirmed to Electrek that they are indeed still waiting for, quote, approval from ro- local regulators, end quote. Model 3 Owners Club on Twitter said that they had an exclusive on the resolution. The tweet said, quote, exclusive, Tesla estimates EPA approval for Model S100D for some U.S. states, 328-2017, Canada, Mexico, and other states, 313-17, end quote. This would mean some folks getting their cars the day you hear this show, and I hope for all those affected they get their cars soon. Lastly, if you can't get enough of seeing Model 3 in motion, Teslarati forwards us the video from Unplugged Performance who caught the car tooling around outside their office. Luckily for them, they are situated near the Tesla Design Studio and SpaceX, so they can catch this type of thing more often than others may. It's pretty clear, at least in my book, that this is indeed the car we saw a year ago now at the reveal, as there's no Autopilot 2 hardware apparent on the car. Given this fact, I suspect this is the company giving rides to folks, especially given the car is carrying a full human cargo load. You wouldn't think you'd have a full car if there was testing going on, and you also wouldn't think they'd be bothering to test a year-old car that won't be one of the prototypes you Used for final testing. Either way, fun to see the future on the road. The links for today's stories can be found in the show description. Thanks to Tesla Audi and Electric for their continuing Tesla coverage. If you get some value out of what I do each day, please consider supporting me at patreon.com slash Tesla Tidbits. Firstly, thanks to new patron Leslie Radwell, as well as Don Miller for increasing his pledge. As always, thanks to super patrons John Waltower, Drew Schuyler, Cookie UK, and John Waller for supporting the show at the $10 plus level. If you're pinching pennies, that's totally fine. Please feel free to support the show with your positive iTunes reviews. While I'd love a full review, if you're not a wizard at the keyboard, a star review alone will serve just fine. In addition, subscriptions across all services and any other social media support you can throw my way is most appreciated. If you have feedback for me, the best way to be heard is to tweet at Tesla Tidbits. That's it for today. I'll see you back here again tomorrow. Until then, keep it charged and hit the road.